Well, this this uh, little cartoon I couldn't resist because it's been floating around, um, floating around the internet and on Facebook. Uh, in terms of that, really, if you were to uh, be more accurate, and I know that this is a cartoon, so, but if you were to be more accurate, you'd actually have uh, the first known, in a sense, the first known sighting of Michael Phelps. It, the 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 uh, egg is also a first known because both mom and dad, although we don't hear much about Michael's dad, um, are uh, uh, were part of the deal. Obviously, um, all right. So let's let's turn our attention to prenatal development uh, and the idea to understand some of the basics, if you will. That uh, again, some of this might be. Uh, review for a lot of you, uh, but a total of 200 million or more s- sperm, which are deposited during intercourse, uh, approach an egg 85,000 times its size, um, their own size. The few that make it and penetrate the outer uh, um, protective barrier of the egg itself, <clears throat> the one that makes it. Uh, the the one that I'm sorry the one that makes it uh, essentially is the one that that uh, penetrates into the cell itself and and that once that happens then this uh, protective coating then basically just shuts and no other uh, um, no other sperm is available actually to get into the cell at all the moment this happens and the uh, sperm becomes part, then this begins to subdivide uh, because the two begin to uh, fuse, two becomes one, and we are now, in a sense, uh, in a lot of ways, and no pun intended, of course, off to the races. So um, the, the fewer than half of all the uh, fertilized eggs called zygotes um, survive. So in the first week, cell division uh, and zygotes is one of the words that um, is uh, what we refer to as a fertilized egg. And fewer than half survive. So the ones that do, uh, cell division produces a, a zygote of about 100 cells once the sperm and the egg uh, uh, fused together. Um, in the first week, uh, cell division produces the 100 cells, then the cells begin to differentiate. Essentially, they specialize in the structure and function. And about 10 days after conception, uh, the outer shell of this zygote essentially becomes the placenta, um, and that's the outer shell of the original uh, zygote comes from uh, outer shell. <clears throat> and then uh, essentially the inner cells <clears throat> are, are what uh, we would refer to as the embryos. This is the inner shell, I- inner uh, cells. So it, th- that differentiation already begins to occur the moment of fertilization itself. After about nine weeks, uh, we then move to uh, what we refer to as a, a fetus. It is unmistakably uh, human. And during the sixth month, because <clears throat> nine weeks is about two months, about the sixth month, uh, we have... Um, the internal organs beginning to develop. The internal organs begin to develop, such as the stomach, um, and have become sufficiently formed and functional to allow a prematurely uh, born fetus a chance at survival. Uh, essentially, at each prenatal stage of development, and um, one of the things just to keep in mind and, and to underscore here is that there are factors um, 
each stage is affected by uh, factors that we refer to as teratogens. And this can be in the form of uh, uh, things that, uh, substances that attack the uh, developing fetus. A good example uh, of a teratogen would be alcohol. Remember, I've been using uh, the shorthand E-T-O-H. Um, and the, that's a good example of a teratogen. You know, another one would be smoking or nicotine. These, these are substances that uh, are passed to the fetus and because it's in this developmental stage, it impacts the development internally. And these teratogens, essentially most of the uh, OBGYN uh, uh, recommendations is uh, usually has to do with smoking. <clears throat> A lot of it does, drinking. And generally what uh, a lot of OBGYNs are also going to say <clears throat> is cut back on your caffeine. Excuse me for my throat clearing there. So uh, in alcohol, one of the, the outcomes that we see is a, a syndrome we refer to as FAS, which is fetal alcohol syndrome. And, and the, the FAS is, um, can be uh, detected uh, usually in the face of uh, babies when they are born. Usually they have a very low, flat uh, bridge across the nose. A lot of times their eyes are very widely spaced. And each one of these things are part of what comes into play when we're talking about um, prenatal uh, development. So uh, the zygotes are the key. Uh, they begin to subdivide into 100 cells. Eventually, um, by uh, about 10 days, uh, this stage hits where we now have a differentiation of placenta and embryo. Uh, at nine weeks, we refer to it as the fetus and is unmistakably uh, human at that point in time. Although up until this point, the thing to keep in mind is that, you know, your book says unmistakably human. Um, earlier on, a lot of times people look at it and say it looks like a tadpole because of the long spinal cord. and that's just part of the development essentially the proportions what i think your book is trying to get at here is the proportions of the fetus then actually looks more human-like essentially and then the key is the, we've got developing or internal organs at six months and the placenta is passing nutrients and oxygen from the mother to the fetus and what that also means is that while they're passing nutrients they're also passing uh, uh, the placenta is also passing along teratogens ingested by the mother that can reach the fetus, oftentimes, um, oftentimes producing something like fetal alcohol syndrome because of the mom is, is drinking.